1794, 2150, 2150. We go now to McFarland Park, where teams are beginning to bring fish to the scales and climb their way up the leaderboard. 2338, 2338. And if I heard him right, it's five smallmouth. This can be an awesome picture coming up right here. Puts him in first place for the event. That's a big one. We're going to wait big bass here in just a second. This is one of the biggest smallmouth I've seen in a long time. 661. 661 on that smallmouth. Caden Tanner and Samuel Clymer from Tarleton State University set the bar high early with a five fish limit of smallmouth bass weighing 23.38 pounds. It'll take a limit of fish averaging almost five pounds a piece to knock them off of that top spot. Guys, we need 23.39. What do you think you got? I'm hoping above that. Your hopes are coming true, 24.96. That's our new leaders right there. James and Chance, University of Montevallo, 24.96. It was a blessed day, man. Honestly, we got up there, we caught some good ones early, and I, we had 19 pounds by like 9.30, and we blasted off at 8.30. I never dreamt that we were gonna end up catching 24, 90, 96. Yeah. Man, it was just a blessed day. I was so excited. It was so much fun. There's a lot of people up there. I'm, I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot more tomorrow, but we'll hope we'll play some bumper boats and get some big ones in the bag. <laughs> we'll see. James Willoughby and Chance Schwartz from top-ranked Montevallo claim the day one lead with 24.96 pounds. The Tarleton State duo of Caden Tanner and Samuel Clymer are in second with 23.38, and Landon Smith and Jacob Scrimshire round out the top three. These anglers from Calhoun Community College bring in 23.05 pounds on day one. A total of six limits over the 20-pound mark crossed the scales today all separated by less than five pounds entering the final day of competition.